we truly want to find out a way. We've been running numbers on how we can make this educational system work, how we can get to somewhere where we're looking at the early childhood and the school safety and all those issues. We want to be there. We want to be about educating our children. You know, we want to look at how that works. We want to be about public protection. We want to know where Obamacare doesn't work and we'll go back in and help you fill in the cracks with QCCT. But we're also about making sure those children we want to educate aren't saddled with debt. And you sat here yesterday, Mr. Speaker, and said, look, we agree with you. We've got to start budgeting in long term. We can't walk in here with the structural imbalance. And most people out in the TV land don't understand that. But we as budgeters and policymakers do. And we want to make sure that we're making that statement and that we're not bonding their future. We're not putting them in a place where, you know, Rocky, you said you wanted to make things happen. We do too. It's not being for or against anything. It's about being fiscally prudent. And now we've told you where we are. We want a fiscally prudent budget. We're willing to sit here and talk about education. We're willing to sit here and fill in those holes in health care. That's got to be our importance. That's the importance of where we are. But if we're going to move to a certain point on those issues and you're all not willing to override a veto uh, or you're willing to, we're willing to move your direction, you're our direction, then we're wasting our time. We need to go over and talk to the governor about all this. Well, we didn't realize that we were going to have a political oratory this morning, but if you want to engage in that debate, that's fine with me. It, it's that's fine a, with me. Let's just get it on. All right? You want, all you want to do is open this with a political debate. Let's talk about a political debate. The Senate budget deprives Kentuckians of 30,000 jobs, 30,000 new jobs. And everybody on this side of the table, at least from halfway up, believes those 30,000 jobs are important to Kentucky.